is for the 2022 holiday season slash Black Friday extravaganza. We're going to do a quick little go through, walk through of the gift center over here at the local Lowe's. Some of these are going to find similar deals to what you saw over there at Home Depot. Some of them are going to be uh, maybe better deals, but we'll see as we go. Um, starting off over here with the batteries. Uh, usually, Home Depot has the best deal on those Rayovac batteries for the holiday season. I have yet to see them go back down to where they were. I think it was like eight bucks for like 60 batteries. It's pretty nutty. Um, I think I remember seeing them somewhere for maybe like 12 bucks. So the price definitely have gone up on those batteries, but that's the, the great time to stock up on some if you're if that's what you're looking for. Starting out here, we got this uh, 15 bucks for the three-piece groove joint pliers. It's like you got six, eight, and 10 inch, or eight, eight, 10, and 12, excuse me. Eight, 10, and 12 inch of the pliers. Somebody made a comment about me putting the stuff back exactly where it goes, and I applaud you for catching that, and I will do better. Here we got the cobalt titanium drill drive set here. So you got some twist drill with the quarter inch shank. And um, you got another piece here with some more bits and some adapters. $20, pick your poison. And here we got the three piece locking plier set. So you got a wire cutter as well with the little needle nosers and all of them actually. Not the best for cutting, you know, like electrical wire obviously, more for like a cable wire, I believe. Or, you know, like a horse a horse fence or something like that we leave some chicken wire uh, $15 for those here we got the three-piece adjustable wrench nice with the smooth jaws not really for your everyday what you'd use maybe like the slip groove pliers for or the adjustable wrench uh, like those but if you got delicate pipes or something you don't want to scratch up, there's the way to go there. And if you already haven't got enough of these with your more 10 bucks, 15 bucks, depending on your poison. This one comes with a nice little wrench there or a screwdriver handle. But you can put those bad boys in. Oh, and it's got the, the ball end hex key with these. in there now we got some nice little cobalt gloves some flashy gloves 3d knit just kind of trippy looking at it you got green or purple or fuchsia magenta whatever you want to call it now here these um you got some tire gauges here it's ten dollars for each any one of these these are nice to have but uh nothing beats old school original mechanical analog pressure um it'll be the time you need to use this and the battery will be dead and you don't have any batteries and you can't check your tire pressure these are nice here you can check it as you're building up pressure this is typically what you see in a lot of um you know car shops at least the ones that i've been in and the ones that i've worked in you usually see these these not quite as common but if i had to pick between these two uh, I'd probably pick this one. Now we got the nice 16 ounce claw fiberglass hammer. Your typical, what you typically see um, when you got these uh, kits. Nice little pair of scissors. Or a set up actual, a pair of a pair of scissors. However you'd say that. But nice little smooth actuating scissors. Now you can keep those in your uh, in the junk drawer, the tool drawer in the kitchen, one outside in case you need it. Uh, you see you got $20 for either the hex shank twist drill bits. And you get a couple of bits here. It's a couple one inch bits with this meaty looking adapter. Or the speed fit. That's what they're calling it the speed fit just fell out 
All right, anyway, you basically the same thing over here, except you're supposed to get this puss is in the wrong spot. You know, you're supposed to get these here. Not bad. I have not really used any of the cobalt bits. Here, twenty dollars here for these as well. Again, some of these are kind of mixed up. See, these cobalts to call in this. Oh, this is the XTR. Cobalt's calling this the speed fit, but you know, most, especially DeWalt has a bit like this. They put in some of those kits. Some of them are three inch uh, bits for like a two and a half inch bit that you pull the collet back. And you can eject the bit that way. I believe this is a similar price to the Husky Setter at Home Depot. We got the Cobalt 29 or $30 22 piece accessory drive kit. You're getting some extensions and adapters swivel adapters that's nice here we got these little cobalt bags they feel pretty nice they look like they're about the same quality as those Ryobi bags but these feel like a much thicker much nicer bag much heavier duty stitching definitely a much nicer bag for eight dollars here we got some cobalt lock back compact knife pretty slim pretty low profile it's pretty nice some of them are better than others due to their braid release blade release mechanism so it just all depends on what you like and then we got the old school this is for the young guns this is for some of us older folks we need a little bit bigger handle to grip on that's the quick retract you can't open it a quick open retractable knife which is nice this is oh this is the blade looks like you got a blade storage in the handle which is nice this is gonna be do we not just see these over here for a different price okay yeah so these are down to 598 we did see those This is your old school, again, keep in the kitchen in case you need to do something real quick. The six in one screwdriver was like you're getting a Phillips one and Phillips two, and then the slotted end on each. Not really, should probably an eighth and a quarter, maybe. All right, here we go. Christmas is coming up. You know, the kids are gonna get these little small noise makers with batteries and with little small screws. Pick this up for six bucks. And we got the two piece combo, the boomerang style. Definitely a unique design for sure. And it includes two blades. Now, these are interesting here. You're just sort of combining the handheld pocket utility knife with the old school retractable one. This is nice. Might pick these up for a couple stocking stuffers. And you got a little nut wrench on the end. And it looks like maybe you got a little slotted screwdriver right here. Nice. And here we got the 16 inch compact cobalt tape. Nice little tape. There is not really, no protection really on the end. It's really your basic tape, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's smooth and it retracts just fine. So for $15, you get the 24 in one screwdriver with precision bit set. Oh, this is nice. It's got bit storage in the handle. You get the quick load system. So you can use this into here. I've never seen that before. And then we got the T-handle the bit set. Again, now they're really coming out with this quick load system, which is nice. Blade loading, blade release, bit storage in the handle. Hmm, interesting. Oh, got letters to Santa over here. 
All right, this is a little bit nicer set here. You get a nice little pry bar, you know, maybe for some light trim work. Not technically a trim pry bar, but you know, with the right technique, you could probably pull some trim with that. Um, these are interesting here. This is a, a ratchet handle. You can replace these inside of here. Allows you to use, you know, obviously different sockets and stuff that you want to use with it. You know, 20 bucks for this one set here. Now we got the universal wrench. Now, keep in mind, if you use these, uh, do not use it for anything heavy duty. Unless you want to lose, you want to really bust a knuckle. Because the way you use these is you push this little can't do it with two hands but you push this in you can rotate these around it comes up with different sizes and you can use it basically as an adjustable like wrench but like a classic you know uh, like one of these but you use it and can adjust it sort of like one of these by rotating these knobs around and basically, this is going to be 17, 17 millimeter, I guess. Well, that's kind of small for 17 millimeter. Here we go. I don't know. It's definitely a unique design. It does say 17 millimeter on it? I don't know. Either way, interesting design and concept, but not for heavy duty use. I don't recommend. Now again, this is gonna be similar to that Husky set. I can't remember what the price was that Husky set was, but this is 20 bucks. You're getting pretty much, you're getting talls, you're getting shorts, you're getting precisions, and you're getting the bottle opener. Now's the time to stock up on some of these screwdrivers. Now we got the combination, 28 piece combination wrench set. Nice little case. You can hang this on the wall if you like. 30 bucks. Now's the time to pick this stuff up already looked at the pliers now this is the the led neck light i think they came out with this last year but you got a high and a low setting that runs on batteries uh definitely could see where that might would have a use if you don't want to use a headlamp but i think i prefer to use a headlamp personally myself now again there's a nice little rechargeable work light here Ooh, that's bright hmm that's nice now the benefit about using the rechargeable batteries of course you don't have to worry about changing the batteries and it kind of keeps the tool light i suppose if you had to use a cobalt battery with this i mean this is paper weight i mean it, it's paper light it, you know it's really lightweight you can stick it anywhere i wonder if it has a magnetic base no it doesn't have a magnetic base but that's where you charge it but you get three hours of runtime on high which is not bad and it comes with a um, USB cable as well. I don't know, it looks like it's, it looks like it's micro USB, which is okay, I guess. I mean, most places, most people are still having problems adopting that. Let's see, we got the 50 piece quarter inch drive mechanics tool set. I'm sure the quarter inch stuff has its place, but I kind of, you know, if you're working on a lot of small stuff, but I sort of prefer the 3 8 inch as sort of the most versatile set. So I feel like if you're going to pick up any of these, you know, unless you have a specific purpose for this, or unless somebody you know has a specific purpose, go with the 3 8 inch uh, set. I just think they're going to get more use out of it. You know, again, unless they're, they specifically need it. Um, 22 piece accessory drive set. And you know, we looked at this already, 30 bucks. Here's something new here. Got some safety eyewear with LED flashlights. So if you've ever seen Blade, the little DJ at the beginning of the movie, he's wearing these little glasses with this lights on the side of them. Uh with a little tiny like little mag looking flashlights here. So if you want to be a blade DJ, you can wear these on your head. That's just, just pretty cool actually, pretty interesting. 15 bucks. You know, again, between the neck lamp, the headlamp, and the sunglasses, or the safety glass lamp, 
Yeah, they got you covered. And here's a nice little five piece exclusive, exclusive plier set. So you're getting some diagonal cutters, you're getting a needle nose, you're getting a lineman plier, you're getting an adjustable wrench, and you're also getting groove joint, what, slip joint pliers? Oh yeah, so that's a slip joint and groove joint. Linesman, needle, diagonal cutter. All your pliers, are, all your plier needs are covered. That's 25 bucks. Now here we got the the I guess high leverage pliers. You get your linesman turns into a long nose, and you can flip them around. Definitely interesting. It's the swing back candle. Ooh. Trippy. Whoa, whoa, daddy. Hmm. Pretty, pretty cool. Now, this is going to be more of your high leverage stuff here. 25 bucks. You're getting the long nose plier, the diagonal plier, and the linesman plier. So, yeah, you can flip these bad boys all the way out. And really crank down on them for all your nut stripping pleasure. So, and I even put other people's stuff back. This one looks like it collapsed. I hear you're getting 50 blades, like 25 per pack, and you're getting these two. Uh, Folding knives, these are a little more heavy duty, a little bit nicer. You can also use, I guess, the hawk bill blades with these. I'm not sure if that's what you guys call them or not, but I tend to call them, with, and I'm putting it back just so and even in the caved in box. All right, we've seen these, we've seen these, we've seen these. Now we got the 226 piece mechanics tool for set for 70 bucks. I don't know if I would say this is more so a mechanics tool set but at least you're getting a 90 tooth ratchet and um, at least it's 3 8 inch and you're getting SAE and metric some longs and shorts you're getting a couple filler pieces that you throw those in there and your allen keys whether you want them or not now for 70 bucks you get the 20 piece ratcheting set nice cobalt here Now we got the Bosch, you know, Bosch is big in the laser game, 100 bucks for the Bosch three-line self-leveling cross-line laser level. All right, now we got the four-volt screwdriver. This is an interesting take on the electric screwdriver market. Hmm. Looks like you're getting the, it's either going to be a battery indicator. Yes, battery indicator might have been the, like, an electric circuit. Uh, tester thingamajig but this is a nice little form factor here um, if you watch the Home Depot video you know I purchased that 4 volt screwdriver that they have this is considerably smaller granted you can only use it in the one position but it's definitely a lot smaller and there's obviously an internal battery so again here's the internal versus removable battery argument here but I think this one spins considerably faster um, but I don't know the uh, probably not as much torque with this as you can that Ryobi one. Usually that's where you compromise with these four volt stuff. You get a high speed, low torque, or lower torque, high you know, uh, lower torque, slower speed, or you get somewhere in the middle. Now we're getting to the craftsman stuff here. Sixty-four dollars for the seventy-one piece set. Um, looks like the only thing that's different from that cobalt set is that they're not giving you any um, bits other than the Allen keys. So if you're interested, that might be something you would like. And this is also versus stack compatible. And I'm interested to know it's probably that trade stack compatible as well. Because uh, they say that the versus stack is compatible with the trade stack. So uh, I don't know about that. Not 100%. Uh, 10 11 dollars for the two pack with the folding magnetic trays looks like these might have a silicone around here 
so you can pop them open and collapse them collapse them which is nice again you know my opinion about the tire gauge you know you can have one of these make sure you have a backup even if it's a little cheapo 50 cent one that you know that you pick up at the gas station or something and we got the auto retrieval kit you know we got our little prongs that come out and you got a magnet with a mirror and then we got the pliers $11 pick your poison get the uh, groove joint pliers diagonal cutters and the needle nose or the long nose pliers excuse me now Home Depot we got the, you got the uh, crescent stuff which is I believe 14 or 16 I think it might be 16 um, I, for most people these are probably be okay but I really like the crescent ones uh, I picked the I picked a couple sets of those up I, I think I got the long nose the slips or the groove joint pliers and I really I like the quality of them they're nice um, you, they feel well built and they're comfortable to use in your hand I think they are a bit heavier than these though now 15 bucks for the metal saw horse you know these aren't bad don't expect them to use them for anything heavy duty you know it's cheaper probably to buy these or just as expensive to buy these and it would be to make your own out of wood uh, just because of the price of lumber although it is starting to come down it's still kind of high and for 30 bucks you can have a set of saw horses that will work okay for you if you need it see so ten dollars take your pick you got the 47 so they're a little not quite in order but anyway get the 47 piece screw driving bit set now for this price it might be worth taking a gamble in the craftsman bit set game because it looks like they have upped their game a little bit with their bits they got the torsion zones impact driver ready got the magnetic bit holder you got some nut drivers magnetic of course they look eerily similar to the dewalt ones and some adapters you got a quarter inch and three eighths inch socket adapters on here and not bad for 10 bucks then you got the 14 piece gold oxide set again very eerily similar to the dewalt black and gold set about the same price unless you in this one you're getting all up to a half inch which is nice and you're getting the 13 piece t-shank jigsaw blade set clean wood fast cut wood scroll cut and thick metal Hmm. You get the, the 42 uh, circular saw blade. Nice if you're cutting some, some plywood or you're doing some finishing cuts with your seven and a quarter. And a little bit of a better cut than with the 24 tooth. And then we got the Tic Tac box combo set. But I don't see, I must play must explain must have cleaning those out. I'm not seeing those anymore. I've got the high vis line, ten bucks. To the hex, uh, we'll be with the Allen sets here. Again, pretty similar to the cobalt tapes, the basic, basic tape, but you know, again, it's ten bucks for two. Not bad if you're interested. You got the composite. Some torpedo level twin packs and you're getting the high visibility blade utility knife set made in the USA with global materials all right we're gonna keep it moving right along over here coming back down here we've got the eight piece biomaterial screwdriver set 16 bucks i feel like that cobalt set might be a little bit uh, of a better deal you got the black oxide tip it's supposed to be a little bit more resilient i suppose and they're causing this out calling this outside the speed zone got to get in the speed zone but you're getting two stubbies again i think the cobalt is probably a little bit better value especially if this is 17 bucks 
right, and here we got the multi 15 piece speed drive multi ratcheting the ratcheting multi bit screwdriver set for 16 bucks now this i would say this is a nice uh nice uh ratcheting screwdriver here and you know i think husky makes one of these as well yeah, but you can when you go left and right it will tighten as well so it makes it a little bit quicker 16 bucks and again 16 dollars for the hex key set nice but if you have a mechanics tool set there dime a dozen and here we got a 44 piece ratcheting screwdriver set here this is not going to be uh, this is should be the same as the one you get in this kit here so for a couple extra bucks you're getting a couple of one inch bits to use with your screwdriver all right this is right here is the roto bit screwdriver this is the craftsman's answer to the bridget or excuse me the ryobi uh, screwdriver this is some sort of fancy doohickey here um it's a rotating cartridge uh, magnetic bit holder haven't seen i haven't really used this before or really seen it but you got your forward and reverse it's a little bit slower i think that ryobi moves at 200 rpm this one's at 180 might be a little bit more slightly more torque out of this one uh let's see this one's actually probably going to be the direct competition for that ryobi because it has a pivoting handle this has got everything in this little key here you got picture picture hanger things this is a, an interesting bit here usually you don't see them skinny all that far, that far out but anyway this is probably going to be the direct competition for that ryobi one because it the, simply because it pivots but then it is it's a tiny bit slower again it's the same rpm as this one here 180 i think that ryobi is 200. i really like that ryobi especially because you can remove the battery I don't think you can remove the battery on these. So once they're done, they're done. All right, here's this. Uh, this is the classic Craftsman screwdrivers. If you get some really old ones from your, your grandfather's toolbox, you can you can if you close your eyes and picture that you can smell it. It's that off gassing or that gassing, if you will. Let's see something real quick. And it's trippy going from red to blue but yeah i think this is much better value compared to this one over here eight pieces versus 20 piece and they look pretty much the same grip wise yeah 34 34 dollars 35 bucks for the 25 piece I think they're going, these might be great, but I think they're pulling at the heartstrings of some of you folks out there. And we got the Power Boost Copper Tops, 2198. All right, again, the Craftsman bits, haven't really used them before. Can't really comment on how well they perform, but you get the 60 piece drill drive set for 25 bucks. The 140 piece drill drive set for 40 bucks this one is going to be your versus stack or t stack compatible and put it on top this has a pretty much everything in it you got some twist drills you got some onesies you get a couple twos you get a good bit of nut drivers uh, not a bad kit you get some bit adapt i mean uh adapters for sockets a socket adapter what i'm talking about magnetic bit holder in there like to see them put two magnetic bit holes. I always end up losing mine. All right, we got the torque wrenches here. These are probably going to be neck and neck for the Huskies, but I do think that the Husky, I think, is 59 for their half inch drive. I don't remember the 3 8 inch drive, but I do like the head on this one. And again, you get 50 to 250 foot pounds, so about the same as the Husky. I don't think you can go wrong with either one. Just kind of pick pick your poison, I suppose. 
Now we got it's in the wrong spot. Now we got a versus stack compatible mechanics tool set here. You get 71 pieces. You get a couple Allen keys. Unless you need the Allen keys, I don't see a reason to go for something like this. Um, just because most of those pieces are going towards each one of these counts as a piece. So the rest of it is the actual meat of the toolbox, what you need. This is just dressing, so trimmings. All right, and here we got the 60 piece. Again, I've already seen this. All right, Blue Hawk brand sort of kind of dwindled down a little bit here. Uh, I remember Blue Hawk used to be everywhere. It was the HDX com uh, complement at Home Depot. Um, it's kind of dwindled down a little bit because when Craftsman came in, Cobalt kind of got, you know, it's like Blue Hawk and Cobalt kind of are jockeying for a position at what, you know, who's gonna take over that spot. But you still find Blue Hawk once in a while. Everybody needs some poly polypropylene rope. Stuff's almost uh, indestructible. Of course, it says this is rated for 110 pounds, but it definitely, um, you definitely use this for securing some loads you know, nothing that you got to worry about tipping over, but, you know, if you got some light items, maybe you got a bed frame or something, a box spring, what have you. So we got some gear ties. Uh, I just end up using zip ties most of the time for my stuff, but that's just me. Do what you like. All right, now we got the Big Daddy Jorgensen clamps here. I mean, these are Big Daddies. It's uh, 40 bucks for one of these big big mamas. $40 for the tw the two pack of the 24 inch 600 pound trigger clamps. And then we got these are gonna be uh, the Bessie clamps at Home Depot. These are gonna be about the same as those. The fronts come in the same, same configuration over there. And I think they actually be cheaper. Now, I don't know about the quality, but the Bessie ones feel just as solid to me. So, might be something to consider. Kind of do a comparison. The handles on these do feel a little bit better though. And there's the 12 inch or the 24 inch trigger clamps here. All right, now Tough Built's really kind of come out, come out of the woodwork with some of their products here. This is an excellent tool to have, uh, obviously. If you're a pro and you're doing decking or railing or anything like that you know you can kind of do kind of this, some of this stuff in your head but you know if you're a homeowner you know you're you want to double check your math or double check your angles this is a good um good good tool to have you know that way you can measure twice and cut once instead of having to make 100 guesses in a thousand cuts and we got the nine inch magnetic torpedo level uh, $20 for each probably gonna end up picking one of these up myself just in case two-piece utility knife set for $20 definitely nice nice heavy-duty well-built now these are pretty nice hammers here pretty light looks like a Thor hammer um, you got the magnetic nail holder so you put the nail in the hole, hit it once, and then you go and drive it. Nice 18 ounce hammer. Or you use $20 for that. And here we got the 25 foot pro blade tape measure. Definitely feels like a nice tape measure. And we do have some protective coating on the tape. and measurements on the back which is nice with i don't know if anybody everybody saw that but you also got little eight eighth inch markings as well it's nice 25 foot tape and then you got the combo 16 footer with the utility knife now we got the bell and howl as seen on tv um i, I don't get this stuff not even as a stock of stuffer unless it's somebody you dislike 
now we got the classic i had an aunt and uncle who always would get me this for christmas and they kind of got me stocked for the spring you know I, back when i was a young grasshopper i used to keep my cars and my trucks in tip-top shape and uh these always came in handy but anyway if you got a nephew teenager or whatever um and they like they're a car enthusiast they like washing their car um definitely you're not going to disappoint them with a gift like that for 20 bucks and i think they've pretty much stayed that same price forever and matter of fact they used to sometimes will come in a bucket but between sometimes you'll see the mcguire's as well another great kit now it's like now just like over at home depot we got some of the craig stuff got the pocket hole jig <clears throat> 320 Pick up two of these and then you got the 720 and this is gonna i think this i think it's doubles as a case i want to say it comes in a i want to say a case is in here but i'm not 100 sure but this is gonna cover all your bases here this is gonna be some of the basics and we got the lux pro anyway sorry about that 35 dollars for the 320 130 for the 720 and this is the time of year to kind of get this stuff because it you know usually it shoots up um after the holidays now we got some flashlight lantern combo from lux pro for 20 bucks then we got the little waterproof whoa whoa that's nice 15 dollars for the waterproof floating lantern and flashlight very nice you can hear those jorgensen clamps okay this is a different quality then hold on a minute let's see yeah so this is the ten dollar set that's the 12 inch 100 thousand pound this is going to be the 600 pounds this is the medium duty this was going to be comparable to those bessies at home depot and i think they're about the same price although i think the bessies are 25 bucks and in that case i'd probably would go with the bessies now here we got the Jorgensen. I guess they're getting into this business now. And some multi-tool blades here, 30 bucks, not a bad kit here. It's like you're getting some for wood, nail embedded wood, got drywall, PVC, some metal. Nice all around little kit here. And here we got the rotary. This is a nice little kit here. So you're getting a bunch of stand stones. I'm not sure the terms, the correct names for each one of those stones, but some of them are harder than others. Some of them you use for polishing. It, you know, I'm not going to claim to be an expert on that kind, on that, on the rotary stuff. But if you are, please comment below and educate me and everyone else. Now, for this is a good little handy clamps here um, to kind of have around for smaller things in case you need it. Anyway, to five bucks for these four inch clamps. Sorry, that's not how, that's how that was. I apologize. Now we're going to kind of get to the gift stuff. You know, these are kind of fun to do with the kids. You know, we did the gingerbread houses last year and they really enjoyed it. But you got the snowman, the stars, the ornaments, the tree, and the gingerbread house. And we got some little tool sets for the kids. 25 bucks. Nice. Again, if you want your kids to kind of get exposed to this. Maybe they want to use yours, but these are going to be a little bit safer for them to use. Um, don't need Junior, who's four years old, swinging around a 16-ounce hammer. But if you got a little bit older kid, as I got my son two years ago, I got him the Craftsman set. That way he can, and he was going around the house measuring everything with his goggles on. See, I'm in here doing his thing. You got somebody who wants to mow some grass? There you go. 35 bucks. Now these are some of the projects you can sort of do in the all you know in the spring or you know late winter when it's you know springs around the corner. You want to make some bird feeders and bird houses, monster trucks and whatnot. Good good little gift right there you can get. Now you see one of these, you know, uh, just don't buy if you if you were to buy this for hundred dollars, don't be expecting it to deliver the world uh, i would 
bit good money that there's no way you're getting 2500 lumens with this projector you probably won't hardly be able to see it and it's probably not even um, full HD it says supports 1080p but the native resolution is 480 so you're not getting high definition um, output on that you're better off going on Amazon and buying one of those projectors off of there for 120 you know 100 to 120 dollars we got some mount stuff some cables no prices oh here we got so you get the light strip <coughs> excuse me with the uh, mounting bracket I tell you the brand if you want some of these LED backlights for your TVs that actually work look up Govee G-O-V-E-E -E on Amazon they have a light strip that you put behind the TV it's got a camera that projects on the TV and basically it changes the colors all around behind the TV to match what's on the screen so you get like a really immersive experience I like the Utilitech outlet here they started putting stuff not just down the front but you got the sides you know you've always got an oversized plug or a weird turned plug and you can't now all of a sudden two of the outlets are unusable so I like that they put some on the side that way you can kind of plug as much stuff as you want to in there and we got some headphones and your walkie talkies here you got Mario Spider-Man and every girl's favorite the Frozen and when we were kids we used the heck out of these walkie talkies and we couldn't keep batteries in them things now we got some true wireless earbuds looks like it's got a built-in power bank you can use it to charge your phone 1200 milliamp hour you know you might get a charge on your phone maybe and here we got some more of this stuff here all right and for the first time that i've seen you got dewalt wear and lows i don't remember seeing these last year but these are really nice really thick hoodies i mean like talking carhartt level thick maybe thicker guaranteed to stay warm in these but $40 for your, your poison you get the classic black and yellow black and yellow you get black and gray uh, you get more of a I don't know if this is be considered a heather gray but your darker gray then you got the gray dark gray combo again really thick really nice uh, hoodies I like these and you got some free country work wear out here and we got some nice cat gloves this is with some mixed in with some Timberland. All right, now here we got the shop vacs. Hundred dollars for the Dewalts, fifty-five for the Craftsman with filters. Again, I'm sure they're great vacs. Um, don't really know much about them. Haven't used them. I have rigid vacs, pretty much what I use, just because I've had them forever and they work just fine. Now we got the tough built workbench here similar to that dewalt workbench and actually i will say it looks kind of like that keter workbench but uh doesn't definitely not like the keter workbench now that i'm looking at it things are going to be a little bit cheaper than that dewalt or it might be the same price and it also supports a thousand pounds of even weight so i'll try to put something on one end of it because it's probably going to tip over and we got some nice tool totes here with a nice rubber bottom or plasticky bottom. And we got the pack of saw horses here. I wonder if these are the ones with the adjustable legs. Probably not. No. But these are still good saw horses. I have these right here. They uh, yeah, I made a miter table and they work just fine. And here we go with the trade stack stuff. They're going with the uh because they got everything tied down so you can't really see anything but um nice little drawer system here Ooh, that's nice that's really smooth and really nice and it opens up all the way very nice anyway it's 169 for the three piece the top piece included it being the crate the tote whatever you call it you know solid enough boxes feels more on par with the rigid than with like the links or excuse me the link or the pack out or the tough system just to my opinion just from feeling on it 
Cobalt take took over for Porta Cable with the six gallon compressor. Uh, years ago, you got the Porta Cable six, Porta Cable six gallon for hundred dollars. Now you can get in the Cobalt. Similar features. Obviously, some of the switches are changed. My switches here on my Porta Cable, but for hundred bucks, not a bad deal. Sorry, I don't know what happened. Uh, I'm using filming this for the filming this videos on my GoPro. Figured I'd try that this time around. But anyway, I think you can get the rigid, I think, at the Home Depot with uh or maybe it was the DeWalt with a couple of nailers and a stapler. Um for not for maybe I think it was I think like probably 150 or maybe it's 199. I can't remember. I don't know why I brought that up. Now we got the cobalt router table, 129. The fixed base router obviously you're getting the router you're getting the router stand 130 you know again 130 dollars not a bad deal here this is the time to get this stuff and then we got the cobalt seven and a quarter i don't know what's going on my thing keeps shutting off but anyway 160 for the seven and a quarter cobalt now we got the cobalt stacking system their, co their toolbox system you know what? I actually like this way better than the than that trade stack. It definitely feels a lot nicer. Feels like a much better plastic. This has some features of that um, that Dewalt, the tough system, with these being able to be able to stack these half boxes on here and utilizing this. And when you're done, put these down if you want to stack a bigger box up there. It's a pretty nice little feature. Again, uses a similar function on the side to release the boxes and attach the boxes. Ooh, ooh! I actually like that. You don't feel like you're at risk of breaking anything off. You can't just drop it on it and go. But these work a lot better than those flaps the ones that you flip off and they could just break off i like those a lot better all right let's head on downtown all right 150 valued at over 400 dollars dewalt 20 volt max xr brushless random orbital sander um missing something here uh, anyway get 99 bucks for these kits here get the drill driver or the again my thing keeps cutting off I don't know why but here it's still saying the 400 dollars value for the sander I don't really understand sander sanding kit with 4 amp hour battery oscillate multi tool 8 piece of soft case maybe you I don't know do you get one, you get this, and you get to pick one of these? I don't know. Either way. Here's $25 for this piece here, for this set here. Which just went to a half, half inch, but at least you get a three-eighths. Might find some comfort in that. Black and gold. This is one of my favorite bit sets of the year. You do get the Swiss drill bit sets. At least you get a half inch right here. About $25 for the 110 piece set here. You're getting pretty much everything. <laughs> and here we got the versus stack system for a hundred dollars not a bad way to go if you want to get somebody a toolbox system um yeah, 130 dollars for the craftsman pancake compressor this looks more like that porter cable but without the price tag All right, and here we got the gunmetal chrome set. It's a really sharp looking set. I got the 300 piece set, but 70 bucks for this. You, know, you get quarter and three eighths drive. And these are what's nice about these is you, they have the 120 tooth ratchets. Really buttery smooth, especially after you break them in. I got some of the Craftsman toolboxes. How are we gonna go into too much of them now, but not my favorite boxes but everybody has their opinion 
by what they like. I do like this cantilever set here. Hundred dollars for this, and what's nice about this is it all rolls back, and it makes it really easy to get to everything. And I only got one hand, so I'm not gonna try to open this now. And of course, you got the trade stack. And we got the old school, used to be hundred dollar special at this time of year. I'm gonna check out down here a little bit. Oh, here we go. $99 for the brush kit. Pay $30 more and get that Matabo kit. Hopefully we see that here. But the Matabo kit, you get two three amp hour batteries, charger, brushless drill driver, and the triple hammer brushless impact driver. Hopefully we'll see that in just a minute. We got some of the cobalt stuff. This is the, I guess, refreshed kind uh, refreshed box there maybe refresh tools um, last year you could have um, I think it was I think it was a hundred dollars as well and you got the free four amp hour battery with this kit so you got a two or four and the drill driver but that was only for the drill driver did not include the impact driver I don't like how they went Ryobi style brush Ryobi with the impact driver sure. definitely a weird look Anyway, $99 for each one of those. Then we got the homeowner set. Better off getting something that's more specialized if you don't have any bits and just buying a bit set. Because here's a here's hundred bits right here for 15 bucks. Then we got the cube, the cobalt cube. 257 piece for hundred dollars. This is gonna be the yearly cube set from cobalt. The holiday one that they put out every year. And now I'm gonna head on downtown. Right here. Here is the kit from last year, or at least it looks like from last year. Uh, it's not the redesigned one, but it's $130. Looks like you're getting you're getting one two amp hour battery. Unless you're wanting to go in the Cobalt's line or you want to give this as a gift for somebody, that Matabo deal is a sweeter deal. You're getting two 3 amp hour batteries instead. And here for this 229 kit, you're getting just one 4. They should have put a 2 in here. That would have been nice. And here we've seen this over here, the VersaStack Mechanics tool set. <coughs> um, is okay. $100 for the 206 piece. Now this is gonna have more sockets and hardware than you're gonna get with filler. There's still gonna be some, but this is, if you want a suitcase, this is the way to go. You get the 72 tooth ratchets, however. Now, this is a nice kit here. It's even less filler. You're still getting 135 pieces, but it's 80 bucks. So if you want something a little bit smaller, this might be the way to go. It seems to be about the same. You're just not getting as much filler in this one as you're getting in this one. So just keep in mind, every single piece in here counts as a piece. Just keep that in mind. And we got some of the Craftsman Whole Saw stuff. And Linux. Oh, excuse me, shoot, it looks just like the Linux. It looks like just like the Linux used to. But anyway, you're getting some recips, you're getting some hole saws. $17 for the recip blades, $35 for the hole saw blades. Think you're better off going the Home Depot route when you want, if you want to get this stuff. Uh, especially if you want the hole saws. You got some of the Craftsman blades, $8 and $20 for the 7 and a quarter, 24 tooth, and a 10 inch, 24 tooth, and 60 tooth saw blade combo pack. And 150 for the 16 gauge finish nailer. Again, this is a giant bulbous monster, just like the Porter Cable used to be. And we got the 16 gallon excess extreme suction performance 16 gallon Craftsman shop vac or wet dry vac, excuse me. Don't know the price of it, maybe it's on the other side. Now they've definitely it stepped up the game with the Craftsman here. 
this is my first time seeing this this is the 275 foot pound impact wrench half inch now they're calling this the RP the runtime and performance brushless interesting 99 bucks for the impact wrench $99 for the brushless grinder $99 for the brushless circular saw and it looks like it's at least seven and a quarter all this is going to be brushless $99 for the recip $99 for the jigsaw but the batteries are still kind of the same you get $99 for the four pack not terrible but interesting they come out with the runtime and performance the RP now we got $69 for the wet dry vac the five gallon this is the 20 volt one slapping up against Ryobi now $150 for the Craftsman 4 tool brushed kit but really you're getting a light should have put an impact driver in there all right 229 for the 15 amp so it's going to be corded of course 10 inch compound sliding miter saw I don't know if it's dual bevel though All right, and then you use 199 for the table saw 10 inch table saw brand, uh, Craftsman 15 amp 10 inch table saw $200 Alright, I think we saw this over here. $100 for the gunmetal chrome, 120 tooth ratchets. $50. This would be a good set right here. 120 tooth ratchets. This would be a good $50 kit right here. You get 3 8 inch, so you get most of the bases covered. You're getting a couple 1 inch bits here. Be a nice kit for someone who wants their own set of tools. We got the fan. No prices on anything over here. Dewalt ones. I don't. Not a big fan of these. These are. These are going to be thin kerf ones mostly. Um, they wear out easy, quickly, and they bend very easily as well. I've tried them before. Not a huge fan of them. All right. This is a 21 piece black and gold. I'm not a fan of this price for these bits, but I do like them there. And we got twenty dollars for the tough grip. And I like this, you know, the new cases. I like these cases. They enter, they stack upon each other, which is nice. And you're getting a ton of these Tic Tac or bits in this little Tic Tac. Now, $20 for that. Now we got $14 for your basic 30 piece here. Might be about, might be at the weight on this. Usually, they're, where's that $10 set at? Probably it's not going to be the forever price. Here's these toolboxes here. These are good for more than just tools if you're traveling a lot. And here we go over here. Now we got the 8 amp hour cobalt battery for $100 or again. You get two, two fours for $100. I mean, these fours are heavy. for the 62 piece 64 plus 28 piece mechanics tool set and then 102 piece is $60 I haven't tried any of these cobalt bits but I imagine they're probably just as good as the Ryobi ones if you went this route so for 30 bucks you're getting everything wouldn't that be bad alright 250 for the four tool combo. Where was that? Where did I see it at? Okay, here we go. I want to take a look at this real quick. Alright, this is the kit I was talking about, but for some reason it's not, maybe it's online only, or uh, maybe it's not marked down yet in the store, but this should be 129. 
the two threes, the triple hammer impact driver, and the drill driver. And not only that, it's the hammer drill. But this is supposed to be 129. But this is the one to get right here. Now, if you look at Home Depot, you can get the 779. Of course, this is just the chop saw. It's a double bevel compound miter saw. Uh, this is not going to be the slider, but at Home Depot, the 779, you can get this and you can get the stand. But if you don't want the stand and you want to return the stand, you're getting this for 260 bucks. That's the way to go. I'll post a video about that here shortly. And here we got the 12 volt stuff here. You get the 12 volt ratchet with the 20 volt impact wrench. Good automotive special here. Um, don't know about the $250 price tag, but you are getting two fours, excuse me, two twos, the bag and the charger. Might be something you're interested in. And we got the drill driver for 100. And the Tabo stuff here. Again, skill, not a huge presence in the store but they do have a little end cap. And $130 for the five tool combo kit. Ooh, this is missing pieces, as is no returns. 50 bucks. Looks like the only thing you're getting is the multi-tool, the speaker, and the impact driver. Not bad. I don't know about the batteries though. Looks like you're not getting the batteries. We got the seven and a quarter 24 tooth saw blade. Was it a two pack? Yeah, two pack. Not bad price there. Not bad price for both of these. The seven and a quarter and six and a half. Let's see. Let's see if we can find some of that extreme stuff. Yeah, we got the extreme. But we had a good time last year when they sold the impact driver with a uh with a with a three amp hour battery for 60 bucks we had a blast with that i think it was 60 dollars all right here's the one to go with right here this is going to be similar to that home depot version where you get the yellow right angle impact or right angle adapter but i probably like that other one that one with the yellow one better this one's kind of a weird looking kit but you are getting us some three inch bits which is nice and yeah, we got the titanium set here. Again, there's no prices on anything. So I can't imagine, begin to tell you how much it is. $25 for the 110 piece. We looked at that earlier. Looked at the same thing. Here it is here. This is a, bit, a little bit better price, a 27 piece. You're getting a couple twist drills, a couple one inch, and you're getting a quick release, which is nice. Here's a 12 inch 40 tooth, two pack, that's gonna set you back 50 bucks and uh, 45 dollars for the 10 inch set 25 bucks for the five piece and 20 bucks for the 16 piece oh there's some recip saw blade set here nicey nicey all right and here we got the 99 bucks for your choice. You get the fan, the job site speaker, and the LED light. And this is a nice set here for 40 bucks. You know, similar to that Milwaukee one uh, that you get with the pack out. This is going to be uh, T stack and Versa stack compatible. It's nice. Nice, pretty nice little case here. Looks like you're getting a lot of stuff in here, there's not a lot of wasted space getting everything three inch one inch two inch magnetic bit holders quick release holders twist drill bits you name it you're getting it for 40 bucks okay so we got 19 dollars for the titanium set and 20 dollars for the flex torque 26 piece set and here with the 12 volt got hundred dollars for the twin pack five amp hour batteries ninety nine dollars for the three amp hour 20 volt 150 for the twin pack 
with a four amp hour 20 volt batteries and you get two sixes for 200 and you get in the four port charger with four two amp hour batteries for $300 this is new I almost thought it was a new power station there for a second I about lost I about lost it but multi-port simultaneous fast charger so they're stepping up the game a little bit charges for not sequentially but simultaneously now I don't know if it's two each or if it's all four at the same time if it's all four at the same time things probably pulling a ton of serious juice all right well pretty much going through everything it's another long video I apologize um, here we go this is the 5 amp hour starter kit similar to that Home Depot one uh, although they don't seem Lowe's doesn't seem to be doing as well as they did last year they, they killed it last year they had that kit that you could had all the tools with it and it was like 300 bucks or 400 dollars and it was like six brushless tools I think you had XR and you had power detect where's the power detect where is it it's gone away I haven't seen any signs for anything power detect this year but anyway you get two five amp hour batteries um and you get to pick one of these for free for 200 dollars, or you get the 20 volt uh brushless two tool kit the hammer drill and pack driver for 300 dollars. you get one of those for free and it's like you're getting two power stack batteries i do like the power stack batteries they got a nice rubber bottom nice non-marring non-skid surface um and they also of course we know they're coming out or they have come out with the five amp hour battery but i do like these batteries nicely though let me see here 169 for the drill driver the hammer drill driver with the i guess they call it a one point something we'll call it a two amp hour power stack the impact driver nice little display I suppose yeah the power detect stuff what happened to it have I just not been in the loop it's gone it's gone man oh here we go we got flex this saw right here looks like a beast look it's just big right, 179 for the two speed drill driver with turbo mode mm. I do like the flex bits I will say that it was like you get a buy one get one buy an impact driver or the two tool combo kit or the four tool combo kit you get one brushless tool of your choice so you get $200 you get for the two tool and you get to pick a third one so for three hundred dollars you're getting a three tool kit uh, i imagine with batteries but it doesn't doesn't really say all right i'm hopping off out of here oh we'll see this real quick all right this is the g2 the next generation of the shock force tapes I really like this tape here, really nice. You got a nice textured end to kind of hold every, hold your stuff, hold your uh, claw on there, whatever you're wanting to measure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry about that, I just had that whole thing dump over on me. All right, but anyway, I'm hopping off out of here. I'm hopping off of here because I got some things to do. Pick up some reset blades and um, appreciate you guys taking a peek. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And uh, I will holler at you. Peace.